We've got two COVID tests here. One is a rapid at home test and it's negative. The other one is a PCR test through a clinic and a lab and it's positive. So is one of these wrong? The chief science officer for a biotech software company says no. It looks like the rapid test is failing, but actually it's accurate to answer the question that we're mostly interested in, which is, am I a risk to my neighbors and do I need to isolate? All right, so let's break it down and explain. We're going to widen this out so that you'll be able to see it, okay? The PCR test can detect the virus in your body for weeks. It is that sensitive. You see the calendar that was on the screen? It showed 16 days that the person got a positive result. Now we have the rapid test. It will only give you a positive when you are infectious. So in this example, the same person could test negative in five days versus 16, meaning they're only infectious and they need to isolate for those first five days. We should really start leaving the PCR test to what it's best for, which is medical clinical diagnosis by a doctor in a, in a, in a hospital or a clinic and allow the rapid test to be used for public health uh, to know, do I need to isolate and be able to take action so when it comes to the at home test kits, I did one right before Christmas. You need to follow the instructions very carefully because it's easy to mess it up. But reading the line for positive or negative, well, that should be easy. If the line is very, very dark, you know that you have a lot of replicating virus in you. You know that you're likely very infectious. If as the line becomes very faint, uh, you could be at the beginning of your infection or you could be at the end. So that's where it becomes very important to have a second test that you can that you can repeat, say, 24 or 48 hours later. And again, that second test should be that rapid test to see if you're infectious or not.